Hello everyone. Um, so before I get into this video, it has been about three months in real time before uh, since I recorded the stuff in my last video. And um, I've just been sitting on a bunch of footage from that time. Uh, a lot has happened. And um, I'm finally getting back into editing everything. And uh, yeah. So, at the end of the last video, I know I was talking about going to Wichita, and I was talking about uh, getting a job at Goodwill, um, and both of those things happened. So I got a job at Goodwill, and then that only lasted a week. Um, I recorded a lot of footage in between the end of the last video and the beginning of this one, um, and I put some of that up on my second channel. Uh, where I also recently put up just like a, a tour of the area of where I'm staying right now and a little bit of an update. Um, so I'll be doing that kind of thing on the second channel. Go ahead and check it out. It's Robo Hobo. Um, but I decided not to include most of the footage that I shot there because it was just kind of... I don't know, there was a lot going on and simultaneously kind of nothing going on. There was a lot of talking and a lot of just like moping around. So the only clip that I think I'm going to include is when I finally quit at Goodwill um, and I'm talking about how that went and that's where I'm going to start right now. Alright, I just quit. That job is by far the worst job I've ever had. And the managers are like half the reason. Yesterday was fucked. Yesterday we had so many donations coming in. I was back there by myself trying to process all this shit. Throw it in bins. You know, close label, stack the bins when they're full. All that kind of shit. And then I come in today and I'm trying to get my area cleaned out so that I can actually process anything. And the manager is just like at my fucking throat. And like, don't push these carts over here. You gotta do this, you gotta do that. I don't have any totes to put things in. I don't have any space back there because the night crew, I mean, I'm sure they were as busy as I was, so it's not their fault. But the night crew was like putting shit on carts and just leaving it there. So the whole area was full of shit. I'm just trying to push it back to the merchandiser so that they can price it out and get it on the floor. And she's telling me, like, you can't push these carts, carts back here. You can't do this. You can't do that. So I start snapping back at her. I also got, like, five hours of sleep last night. So, but basically she was just, like, fucking, like, all I'm thinking is, like, I'm trying to prepare for a flood right now. And you're the HOA telling me I can't put sandbags in my yard fuck you I'm like she told me to clock out and I said sure deal with it yourself you think it's so fucking easy you think you're gonna survive today I bet you're not <sighs> yeah that's the worst job I've ever had so uh, I guess I'm back at square one employment wise but I'm not too worried about it because I think I've decided I'm just going to, I'm going up to Wichita um, I'm gonna do the truck driving thing this should be easy. And famous last words, of course. But it should be easy. Nothing's easy. But um, I think, you know, one thing I can thank that job for is giving me some perspective on why I hate fucking work. I'm sure there are good jobs out there with good managers and good people that treat you right and, like, have good business sense to actually get shit done that's the thing i really can't stand is when i'm like you know i'm trying to do the obvious solution and people are sitting there telling me all these reasons why i can't that don't make any sense you know if you got a bunch of rules fine but like justify them i can't just like i can't stand there and do something that i know is going to cause problems later i can't do it i'm too uh <laughs> too conscientious about my job I want to do it right if I'm if I if you're stopping me from doing it right then like uh, I don't really care if you're the manager or if you're somebody else I'm, I'm not doing it 
it's also supposed to start raining. I was, man, I was planning on getting like a hotel room once I got my first paycheck and stuff. No, I don't think that's a great idea. Uh, I haven't had a shower in a while and I'm dirtier than I've ever been. I had to do some laundry. I should probably go do some busking today. Get a little bit of money because I'm running real low. I'm going to get paid on the 3rd. Um, I need to start putting videos out again. I haven't had the time or energy to do any of that. I did edit some uh, of the next video, but I haven't had much energy. Um, so I need to go uh, get some cash. Use that to uh, go get my stuff washed. All right, well, it's a couple days later and I'm just kind of chilling, thinking about things. Did I make the right decision? Um, I think I did. You know, could I have done things differently to keep that job around? Yes. But should I have? I'm not so sure. Um, you know, the extra money from staying there another week would be fine. But, like, at the end of the day, it doesn't really do that much for me. Like... I'm still going to need to make money somewhere else. I'm still going to need to, uh, you know, do the same things I've been doing. I'm going to busk. I'm going to do all that stuff. You know, it's not going to really change much if I just have, you know, an extra $500. Makes things easier, but I'm still getting, like, my paycheck for one week. Which honestly might just be the ideal way to do this. Um, <clears throat> you know? Maybe working for a week just to get a, a little bit of a paycheck and then moving on. Maybe that's just the best way this could have ended. See those ants right there? That is a big problem for me. Um, because I bought this uh, box of granola bars yesterday for like $10, which is not a great price, but, you know, there's a lot in there, so... Uh, it's fine, but then uh, I set it on the ground for one freaking night And get all these motherfuckers trying to steal it from me And it seems like they can just chew right through the uh, the thin foil and get straight to the uh, granola bars, so I gotta Go in there and make sure they're not all They don't all have holes in them yet um, So that's gonna be really annoying, but um, yeah, it did rain last night. It's all kind of muddy right here. I'm like slip sliding around. Um, yeah, so I would like to uh, get out of here today, ideally. I slept in a little bit, so uh, kind of got to make up some time. Um, and I know I got a lot of trash around, but I'm going to pick all that up, try and leave it cleanish. I mean, as best as I can do anyway. There's a little bit more rain on the forecast, but it's not uh, not a high chance, so it shouldn't really do much. Um, yeah, that's like half the reason why I bought the uh, the hammock is to get all these get away from all these bugs. My current tent is uh, it's got a bunch of holes in it, so I was having problems with the ants back at the other place too when I was just using the tent. I need to probably think about like stringing up my food like on a branch somewhere so that the bugs can't get to it but I don't know how relevant that's going to be going forward because I'm not going to be staying in the same place for as long so uh, that should help but yeah I gotta I got a bit of work to do here get this stuff cleaned up well, it seems like Houston's fucking sick of me, too, so, uh, yeah, I guess we're sick of each other. I've been, uh, trying to busk a little bit just to get the money to, like, take the parking ride, because it's six dollars, where there's normal buses are dollar twenty-five. So, uh, and I did make the money, barely, so far, but, like, every place I've sat down at, I've gotten kicked out immediately. I was lucky to get five dollars in one place before they kicked me out. Uh, and also the... Starbucks that I've been going to to sit and like charge my phone 
they kicked me out for the first time. I haven't gone there the last like two, three weeks. I guess they just decided they'd had enough. They're probably kicking other people out too, I'm guessing, but like, still. It's fucking hot out here. And I'm like hungry and I gotta pee and I'm not really uh, in the mood to be walking all over the damn place, but I just keep getting kicked out and I gotta keep going to the next place and go to the next place, next place, next place. I don't know what their fucking problem is. Also, they, they keep like being dicks about it. Like if you want to kick out a busker, whatever, it's your legal right. I don't agree with you, but it's your legal right to kick out buskers. But why you gotta be a dick about it? I'm not hurting anybody. I'm just playing music, man. It's so ridiculous. All right, so I, uh, I'm out here by uh, Katy, Texas now. And um, I did get paid. Um, I mean, they were going to pay me on the third, but they paid me on the first instead. So I assume that means that they just, uh, you know, fired me since I didn't show up, which is obviously what I was expecting. Um, and then they just paid me out right away, which is interesting that they would do that. But anyway, I also got a $300 donation from Ernest. So now my bank account is looking at uh, $800 which is good that's really good um, I can really coast on that all the way up to Wichita probably it is extremely sweaty out it's not really that hot it's just very humid and walking any amount of distance just puts all this sweat on you it's getting in my eyes and shit very annoying so I gotta just like limit how much I'm walking maybe I should be doing more of that at night instead of doing it all during the day uh, but right now I'm just trying to get to somewhere where I can sit down so that's fine well I committed the cardinal sin and I underestimated the rain I mean I have a tarp over my tent but I really did not set it up very strongly because I didn't think it was gonna rain hard I thought it was just going to be like scattered showers, and it was last night, it was just random scattered showers, but now it's raining really hard. Approximately five minutes later, the sky is blue and the sun is shining. You can hardly tell that it was even raining a second ago. Well, it's time to go find out how fucked I am. How much of my stuff is really soaked. Here you can see my half-assed setup. I found this stick that was going over there and I thought that would be a good thing to put my uh, tarp over. But it didn't fit all the way down and I was just like, eh, it's fine. It won't rain that hard put my little freaking rain cover over the side instead of putting it in the tent you can also see that I chose a very bad place to set up because the the rain did come down uh, the uh, you know water did rise up from right there so now you can see just all right away there's Stuff is just soaked. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty soaked too. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go buy a new uh, a new sleeping bag because I was meaning to do that anyway. I still it's only three o'clock, so I still got lots of time for things to kind of dry out a little. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pack this stuff up as best I can and uh, start walking tonight and uh, try and get over to the truck stop and then um, kind of deal with shit once I get over there. So that night when the sun went down, I made my way up to the truck stop. Just disgusting weather out here this morning. <clears throat> so last night I did uh, 
I walked like halfway here and I tried to set up my tent um, kind of not quite thinking about it hard enough and uh, it started raining on me and I looked at the radar and I was like oh shit it's gonna actually start raining properly here in a minute and uh, so I had to rush and get my stuff packed up walk over here I feel uh, I also had a really bad headache for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know where that came from. I think like some something about the way I, the I think my head was facing downhill when I set up my tent. Just ever so slightly. But um, yeah, so I'm really tired, and I also feel gross, and all my shit's wet. But I'm here now, and there's laundry and showers and stuff. So uh, time to get that done. I stayed at that truck stop for a little bit, uh, but before too long, I got approached by some people and uh, they gave me a ride. I got picked up by these nice folks in their bus. Uh, I was just sitting at the sitting at the truck stop and they came up to me and started talking stuff. So I guess I'm getting a ride all the way to Austin. All right, I've been dropped off right next to the uh, Texas Memorial Graveyard. They've got all these graves out here. A bunch of bigger ones here, a bunch of smaller ones over there. I don't know what the difference is necessarily, but that's pretty awesome. I am pretty much just going to go right back to that spot that I was at before uh, last time I was here which is under a bridge. It is supposed to rain tonight and possibly most of tomorrow as well. So uh, I need to go under the bridge, get some shelter. And in the morning, I might stick around a little bit. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I'll figure out what I'm doing here in the morning and then I will report back. Austin, Texas, fastest growing city in America. I don't know if that's true. Probably not, but it should be. It feels true. This is the uh, the center of <laughs> I don't know the new tech industry, basically. We got Tesla in here. We got what did that building say? Whoop. Indeed has a big building in town. I guess I can't pretend to know too much about exactly what's around here, but I'm just describing the scene. I'm honestly getting pretty tired of this freaking rain. I'm not even like scared anymore. I'm just like annoyed. I'm probably going to get wet at least a little bit because I'm under this bridge, but it's like, you know, it's going to come in from the side and there's going to be like, you know, droplets to get here and who knows, maybe the, maybe the water that runs down under the bridge is going to pool up right under my <clears throat> my tent I set down my tarp underneath so it shouldn't really be an issue but it's just annoying man I'm not even sure if I really filmed the last couple of storms that I went through because uh, I feel like it's just kind of old and I know I'm not getting much here but like uh, yeah this is like I don't know fourth or fifth like big storm in the last week I feel like maybe that's an exaggeration but it's been a while it's been a lot you can actually see the humidity in the air <clears throat> it's kind of been like this the last couple days to a week or so everything's just so like soupy muggy it's uh, you know makes it hard to be outside I can deal with the heat, but the uh, the humidity is pretty oppressive when it just like smothers you, smothers you, and clogs your pores and makes it so you can't sweat away, sweat away the heat. How apt! They're even having a whole conference about it. So there's the the old downtown, and then there's all the new construction. It's like this whole section of town is just still being built kind of crazy 
And then even in the in the downtown area, there's a bunch of stuff being constructed right now. It's just a, a city that is growing really, really fast. And you can see the uh, Capitol Dome over there too. I should probably go over there at some point. We'll see. Found this cool little spot over here. It's uh, a little further outside of the downtown. Um, but still like a pretty easy bus ride away and it's pretty well enclosed there's a road right over there but I don't think anybody really is looking this direction when they're driving out here there's a fence on this side and a retainer wall on this side and there's like a drain over there for the parking lot that's up here um, but it just kind of seems relatively quiet and pretty hidden which is nice it's always good to just scout out some new spots especially for a city like austin where i'm i'm bound to return at some point all right goodbye austin texas it's been a nice couple of days every time i come through here it's a good time but uh, i gotta keep moving so i'm taking a bus out north to uh, i think it's called georgetown something like that and uh, trying to start the hitchhiking grind again. Here's the San Gabriel River. I'm in Georgetown, Texas now. Um, if possible, I'm probably going to try and sleep somewhere down there tonight. But I got to figure out how to get down there. Seems like kind of a. Uh, something but the you know there's trails and stuff down there so there's probably a way but for right now i'm just going to try and get out of the heat a little bit see uh i need to get some stuff from like walmart or something too man so it is like it's only 86 degrees right now and it's so freaking hot out it's like almost uh it's almost too hot even at night Humidity is 63%, feels like 95, yeah, that, that checks out. Um, but basically, like what that means is that it would be a bad idea to stay in Texas. In fact, it's a bad idea to be, even in Kansas, it gets pretty damn hot in the summer. Um, and staying outside in that kind of heat is pretty much not gonna be doable. So uh, yeah, if I'm not like on the road, in the next couple months here, uh, I'm going to be suffering. Alright, I went and got a haircut. So the beard should be looking like a little bit more in, uh, in line. It's always going to be a little crazy. I've been thinking lately that I should probably get rid of the beard. But I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to wait until I get to Wichita. And then I'll just bring it down to a more manageable level. Um, so right now it's like, you know, it's got some character, but it's a little wild. Well, I've been wearing these shorts lately to uh, combat the heat, which works, but the unfortunate downside is I've started getting all these freaking bug bites on my legs. And I'm not sure all of it's bug bites. I think this is some sort of plant that I must have brushed past. So it doesn't itch, it just hurts. Um, which is interesting and also like I've been kind of sleeping with my shirt off every once in a while sorry for the gross belly button shot but I've got all these freaking red spots on me they don't itch that much and I don't think they're gonna last that long so it's probably not a big deal but it's just like an annoying trade-off that I have to make so it's like it keeps raining just a little bit by bit. I don't even know where this rain is coming from because the sky is mostly blue. But like there's water coming down. It's really annoying when I'm just trying to like sit here. Uh, and then just randomly I get spattered with rain. It would be much more comfortable if I could take this rain cover off. Uh, just because like the wind can actually come through and stuff. The weather lately has just been a, a real bitch. It's been, uh, it's too hot during the day. It's raining all the time. I feel like I can't, like, make any real moves because I just gotta, like, 
wait out the weather constantly. The thing is also that the, the forecast doesn't even show rain. It's got like a freaking 2% chance or whatever. But then you look at the, the radar and it's like scattered showers everywhere. I mean, it's not, it's not going to last very long and the, it should dry out once it's over, but like, do I need to set up my tarp again tonight? I think I might. The rain cover is good enough mostly, but I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to move, um, once the sun goes down, it's a little cooler out, I'm going to move north to closer to the Walmart up this way. Uh, but yeah, wherever I set up, I've got to I've got to put up the tar tarp again. It's just very annoying. So there you go. That's the first video back. Um, I've got a couple more in the hopper. Um, I've been doing a good job of actually getting stuff edited down. So. Um, ideally, fingers crossed, I'm going to put it out uh, one a week from here on out. Well, until I get through everything I've got. And, um, yeah, I've got a lot of donations uh, to read out. I think I'll do it uh, kind of month by month. So, uh, right now, I'm going to read all the donations from May uh, that I had saved up. And then, uh, next video, I'll do June and then... Uh, I don't think I actually had any from July. Uh, yeah. So, uh, go ahead and get started. Um, I got a donation from Davin Consulting for $33.33. And they said, Hex Crypto on Pulse Chain. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like a scam. And uh, that was like two months ago. So, by this point, it probably is worth no money. Um, I got a donation from Ernest for $300. I got a donation from Ross, which is also my name, but I did not donate this to myself, for $20. And he said, live in the dream, brother. Thank you very much. I got a donation from Jeff for $25. He said, we have tree planting work in Wisconsin. Uh, and then I guess he gave me my his phone number, uh, which I didn't I didn't even see this until now so i'm sure it's already over and i'm probably not going up to wisconsin anyway but i appreciate the uh, the thought and i appreciate the 25 dollars thank you jeff um i got two six dollar donations from andrew um i got a 20 dollar donation from ken and he said keep the original music coming thank you very much i i keep meaning to actually record some of my original songs and then put them up on the second channel just standalone uh but for now uh, you know we'll see uh i got 20 dollars from eric said best wishes from flower bluff texas thank you eric and then i got two dollars from michael he said text me i know good work on temp and then they also gave me their phone number a lot of people have been giving me the phone numbers in general i'm probably not going to call you i mean if you make me an offer i can't refuse then i don't know maybe but uh i i have gotten in contact with people through comments and instagram dms before that have helped me out um mostly with the rides uh i'll take a ride from here here and there um but you know only if i'm in the area and the timing's right and stuff like that so you know i appreciate it and I, I, I know people are trying to help uh but in general donations or i'm probably usually not gonna call somebody off a donation um but yeah that's everything for may and um hopefully next week i will get to june and uh and then we can uh can get going on getting into a regular pattern again thank you for watching and thank you for waiting <laughs>